just a bit of an update. Um, things have been going slower on this laser build than I'd anticipated. Uh, life's got in the way a bit. We've had some car issues and got struck by lightning, um, which meant the loss of uh, television and quite a few things. But <laughs> anyway, uh, on the car, car which is a Land Rover Discovery, um, lost an alternator. Alternator died. And I had to do that job, so that took us some time. But um, what with one thing and another, I've done some things. That the, the, the lasers now moved down from the big shed, and I've built this purpose-built table. Uh, the idea is that on that top shelf there will be material, and eventually I'll have my parts, etc., down on the lower table. Uh, the table is on wheels, and I pull it out. You can see behind here. I've got room to put a chiller and any other equipment so the thing can sit more or less flush against the wall. Not getting the way. The gap in the middle was more for um, saving material than anything, but it's only MDF anyway. I've made some progress on the machine. Um, that's the control, the stepper and tensioners for, for the Z-axis. That runs on a continuous belt which goes around. I had to, couldn't put my screws in the corners because the belt's not long enough and I could only find a 3.6 meter belt. So I had to compromise a bit there. Um, it also means I lose a bit of height, which is a little bit annoying, but um, it is what it is for now. I, I, having designed it so that the, these pillars screw in it means I could raise the height in uh, at some point without too much trouble but that has given me another issue uh, which I've solved but uh, because of that it means that it's not fully accurate and isn't in fact parallel the, these these bars are not parallel or well, not square and so they're not parallel so I had to do that system which is on slotted screws that way and slotted screws that way so that I can get that rod vertical but you live and learn um, I think if I had built it built it again I probably would weld the pillars in place but as I say if you can't make it accurate make it adjustable so that's what I've done <laughs> Next job is to make the bed, um, which I've started, but it's still a work in progress. And when I've done that, I'll come back and update again. Okay, so some progress. I've made the bed. This I've done with old steel. It's really grotty at the moment and will need to be painted. Um, I've done this by taking a square tube, which is lying on an angle iron bed, um, cut, cut a slot at 45 degrees so that each individual slat is removable and that should help with cleaning. Unfortunately I wasn't entirely accurate with some of my cuts you can see that one's slightly wider than that one but when you're cutting 50 it, I guess it happens um, but that means that there is a gap here so I'm gonna have to put something underneath otherwise I'm likely to cut through my belt which would be a bad deal. Um, the the bed is mounted at the front only, directly to the screw, and at the rear you've got, so that allows me some play, it means I haven't got to get the back screws quite as accurately vertical as I might have to. And all, all in all I'm quite pleased with it, it's only allowed me a 100mm height, um, which is a little frustrating. But uh, I guess it is what it is, as they say. I'll just uh, do a test. So if I press the down on the Z, see it running down and it counts on the controller down to 100 and stops. And then we'll just move the, the laser head. Press 
press the home key. Right, so then that raises the, this will happen at power up every time. The mirror I'm going to use, uh, sorry, the lens I'm going to use on the laser head will have a 50 mil focal length. So I haven't actually done that yet, but it will be 50 mil from the laser when it, whenever it resets. So you'll have to adjust it. Anyway, I'll work that out. Getting a, I'm so guilty of always doing this. I end up with a big, a big spaghetti mess of, of wires. Most, some, of, a lot of it's in shielding, and I've ordered some more shielding so I can actually tidy this mess up. But there we go. Oh yes, I've added a, um, a rear. This is the third. So one, two, three, or one, two, three. I don't know. Uh, the rear, the rear mirror. So the, the laser tube is going to go down the back of the machine. There'll be a plate which it'll mount to, to the back here, um, with holes in it for um, uh, fume, fume extraction. Um, and then the laser tube on custom brackets, which I've made, um, will sit off the back. These are the, the tube brackets that I've made. I'm going to line it with some, some foam. And it'll basically just bolt on, as you know, I've made it adjustable in again. I think those will work. So, heaven knows when my next update will be, but onwards and upwards. <laughs> Thanks for your time.